here what is good ji squad and welcome back to it again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji and i'm back at it again with another banger video as you guys can see i got the gloves on right now y'all can see by the title in the thumbnail chevy they tried to play the kid they tried to fry the kid no cap and i'm gonna go ahead and roll that intro and then i'm gonna show you guys exactly why i say that so let's get it going because honestly if you got a camera on you watching this or a chevy product then you watching this they tried to get y'all too so pay attention yeah what's up with it do it because i love it and i stuck with it we ain't with the sub and in the car with it please none of the talks i heard enough of it like what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map. Never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone. Who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go. I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road. Came from. All right, y'all. So now that the intro has ran, you dig what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and go over here and check this out. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we got Vader up in the air right now. And as y'all can tell by this joint right here, your boy is just doing a quick routine maintenance oil change. And this is what I want to show y'all that Chevy tried to set your boy up with. Do y'all see how my drain plug here is not aligned it's kind of off to the left a little bit and then if you look literally at the threads right here the drain plug decided to go ahead and basically fail it is ripping at the base of the head and basically would have separated and sheared off in the oil pan now the reason why this is such a big issue and i felt like i should talk about it and make a video about it is because Luckily, I'm here at the shop doing the oil change. I've already got a new oil drain plug ordered coming from O'Reilly's right now as we speak. But some of you guys may be doing these oil changes at the crib, in the driveway, in the garage, in the parking garage, at college, wherever you are. I remember because back in my freshman years when I had Hazel, I was doing oil changes in the TSU parking garage for student parking. So literally imagine you're doing the oil change and literally let me explain to y'all how I even caught this because as y'all can see it is still pretty like evenly shaped as far as the drain plug stud goes now typically what you will see happen is it'll start to get thin around this area where it ripped and then it'll rip but mine didn't do that it just ripped um now the reason why i was able to catch this is solely because whenever i do my oil change right i start with the drain plug i finish up with the drain plug tighten it down and then i move on to the filter once i get to the filter and i'm done replacing the filter i clean it up make sure it's tight then i double back and i check the drain plug again and make sure that it's tight now i went ahead and i went on with the drain plug and i tightened it again after i was done with the filter and literally the head spun and so I was like, wait a minute, I know I tightened this. So let me go ahead and take it off and take a look at it and see what's going on. I take it off and this is what we got, man. Like Chevy, this is a $60,000 car. And y'all are sitting here screwing people like this, bro. Like I said, what if I was at home doing this oil change at the crib? You know what I'm saying? Or God forbid, what if I didn't say, okay, let me go ahead and back this joint off because I know I tightened it down and I kept tightening it and then the head would have snapped off and now I got a stud stuck in my oil pan <laughs> and I'm gonna have to use a tool to back the stud out of the oil pan and possibly risk damaging the threads on the oil pan because y'all want to be cheap and do cheap stuff like this like come on bro that's crazy and then another thing while I'm under the car I don't know if this has anything to do with Chevy but it's just something that I just saw right now um why the hell what is this <laughs> how did this come off you know what i'm saying this joint is supposed to be connected up here and it's just dangling so yeah bro i i don't know i don't know i don't know what the hell is going on like i said thankfully i'm at the shop right now i got another drain plug coming but i literally seen this happen and i was like bro i gotta make a vlog for the ji squad and notify those of you who don't know man some of y'all this is your first camaro some of y'all y'all don't even have a camaro yet 
you're about to get the Camaro and you never had one and you wouldn't know what to expect. You wouldn't, like nobody thinks of this. Nobody thinks of this, you know what I'm saying? So if you have a Camaro, bro, and do the maintenance by yourself, I really recommend going ahead, going to your local AutoZone or O'Reilly's and just ordering a spare drain plug. No matter what year you got, just have one at the crib ready on standby just in case you notice that your drain plug is starting to thin or it's starting to crack a little bit you can just replace it get ahead of it before it really screws you no pun intended you did so right now we're just gonna wait for the freaking drain plug to get here i'm gonna go ahead and put this exhaust hanger back on and fill this car up with oil and we'll get it down but yeah man that's crazy i ain't even gonna lie i was not expecting that at all that's wild bro like Damn, Chevy, come on, man. All right, y'all, so O'Reilly's just came through with the drain plug. Fingers crossed that this is the actual drain plug. If you see the gap before the threads start, it's way larger than my OEM one. So hopefully this joint threads and actually seals. We'll see. All right, y'all, new drain plug is in. Car is running right now to have pressure running through the system to make sure it's not leaking. Looks like it's holding, no leaks anywhere. It's gonna clean up the area. Got that exhaust hanger put back up, like I was telling y'all about. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the car, man, and tick the hole, and we good. All right, y'all, so back here at the JIHQ, as you guys can see, we got Vader and whatnot, man. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to make this video to inform you guys, man. Be cautious when you do your oil change, man. Make sure that that is one of the things that you're checking. Check your oil drain plug, bro. Check it. I'm not going to lie. It happens to majority of the Chevys, bro. So check that. Also, make sure you're checking the threads inside the oil pan itself. Because like I said, it is an aluminum bolt with an aluminum pan. And as y'all can see, these issues do occur, man. So you wanna make sure that the threads in the oil pan are good. You wanna make sure that the threads on your drain plug are good, you know what I'm saying? Because you just don't wanna have issues when it comes to oil and your motor. Because we all know oil helps the motor stay lubricated. Now without lubrication and heat and metal parts rubbing against each other and bumping against each other and doing all kinds of stuff, that's mad friction. You dig what I'm saying? We don't want that. So we need that lubrication to keep the motor healthy and running. So with that being said, man, just I just wanted to make this video to inform you guys. Make sure you guys are staying on your P's and Q's, man. These are some things that some people overlook. And if you don't do your oil changes by yourself, you actually take it to a place to get the oil changes done. Hey, man, say, man, I would definitely make sure that you talk to the people Whenever they take your car in and say, hey man, how's my drain plug looking? Check my drain plug, how are the threads on my oil pan looking? You know what I'm saying? These are things that you wanna stay on top of if you thinking about keeping your car. These are things that you wanna make sure are good because they're gonna end up helping you in the long run when it comes to the longevity of your vehicle. But with that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, man, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And y'all go tune into the video that's going to pop up right here, bro. This is yesterday's video. It's a POV drive with mad pools. Mad pools. So make sure you guys go tap into that video, bro, because y'all asked for it on IG. And I kind of messed up the algorithm posting yesterday when I don't post on Tuesdays. So... That video kind of like didn't really get too many views. So make sure y'all guys go tap in with the video that's right here. But let's go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.